Hi guys, I'm Amy and today we're going to be talking about the leg press. So if your goal is to build muscle in your legs, then the leg press is an amazing exercise for you. It's also an amazing alternative to the barbell squat, especially if you suffer from back pain or have had any previous back injuries. This is because your back is supported throughout the whole movement and you don't have any pressure on your back from the barbell like you do in a barbell squat. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about different foot positions that you can take throughout the movement of the leg press and where they target different areas of your legs. So the first stance we're gonna talk about is the neutral stance. So similar to a neutral squat, your feet will be around hip width apart and they'll be in the middle of the platform. This is a great all-rounder to hit all areas of your quad equally and it'll also get some hamstring and some glute flexion throughout as well. The next foot position is gonna be a wide stance or a sumo stance. So this is where you'll place your foot position a little bit wider than hip width apart. And this position will target the inside of your legs, your adductors, and also the inside of your quad, your vastus medialis. The vastus medialis works to support your knee joint and therefore building up strength in this muscle will help to prevent any other injury. Opposite to the wide stance, we have the narrow foot position. So this will be where you bring your feet closer together on the inside of hip width apart. This foot position will work the outside of your quads. So not only can we move our feet wider or narrower, we can actually move our feet higher or lower on the platform as well. So by taking a higher foot position on the platform, we actually increase the range of motion through our glutes and our hamstrings, and we shorten the flexion around our knee joint. So combining the high foot stance with a wide foot stance, you then have the perfect setup to develop your glutes and your hamstrings. By going lower with your foot stance, this will actually increase the range of motion around your knee joint and therefore your quad, and it will shorten the flexion between your glutes and your hamstrings. So by combining the lower foot position with a narrow foot position, you then have the perfect setup for a quad dominant exercise. So just as a quick recap, the five foot positions that you can take on the leg press and what areas they work are number one, your neutral stance. This is your all rounder and will work all areas of your quad evenly alongside your glutes and your hamstrings. Number two, we've got the wide sumo stance. This will work the inside of your thighs, your adductors and the inside of your quads. Number three, the narrow stance. This will work the outside of your quads. Number four, we've got the high foot position. This will work more of your glutes and your hamstrings. And then number five, the lower position, which is a way more quad dominant movement. Thank you for watching guys. If you found my video useful, please click a like or leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.